What's up everyone? Welcome back to Neo Automata. So here we are. We're in the desert. We finally finished all of our side questing business. We're on with the main quest. So let's just jump right back into it. It's been a while. We're here on Route B. We're heading back to the bunker. And essentially we're going to start seeing the second half of the main story, but from the perspective of 9S. So I'm excited for this because we've spent a lot of time just running around doing extra things. Let me shut up so we can watch this cutscene. I killed my father. I killed my mother. I killed my father. I killed my mother. And in his hand, he coldly gripped both the joy of growing up and the agony of being alone. Ooh. That sounds intense. That's got to be Adam or Eve speaking. It's probably Adam. Adam was the first one, I think, between the two of them. Not just not just in the the story, but in the game. <laughs> that concludes our report on the events surrounding the alien wreckage. Then they were dead this whole time. The Council of Humanity needs time to formulate a plan. What if there are no then, humans either? This information must be kept confidential. What if we're all created by Speak the aliens? To no one. Of course. This is all Your like a training exercise. <laughs> to gather additional intel on the individual known as Pascal. And do you mean that freaky machine we ran into? This order comes directly from the council. Knowledge of such unique individuals is essential for the success of future missions. Why is Ninus so mean? That freaky machine you ran into. Ninus, you're horrible. <laughs> Commander, anything more to say? Something wrong? No. Good. Then carry on with your mission. Wow. They are not much for conversation here. And I bet you these guys have nothing interesting to say. Investigation into the humanoid machines is stalled. I don't have any new information for you. Well... Uh, oh, the humanoid machine's ability seems to be growing. The troops you sent out to investigate were completely wiped out. So don't let your guard down. If you run in into one out there, just straight at once. Okay... So maybe they do say more than one thing. We still don't know the whereabouts of that naked machine man, but we're looking as hard as we can. His name is Adam, but we'll learn that soon enough, I guess. Every time we track him down, he manages to slip through our fingers. How does he keep doing that? It's because he's not wearing clothes, so you can't grab hold of him. <laughs> Strange, we reported the alien signal to the moon immediately, but there still hasn't been a response to speak of. I'm guessing they have plenty of things to worry about. I shouldn't run around spouting off such petty concerns. There are no humans either. I'm telling you now, everyone's gone. We also didn't get instructions from headquarters about how to handle these humanoid machines. Maybe they're just trusting us to deal with it. Or maybe they're not even there. I mean, what if they're just not interested in Earth anymore? Guys, I legit think this entire game is a lie. And we're just here. We're just here to be manipulated. I don't know why, I don't know what's going on, I don't know how this all connects, but there's something way deeper going on than we've been led to believe. Don't ever let your guard down, you hear me? If you're in danger, back off and wait for reinforcements. Also, whenever- Hey, are you listening to me? Oh, she's lecturing the other person. <laughs> you were damn lucky to escape unharmed the other day, you know? Next time, things might not turn out so well. Maybe I should change to a combat model so I can help you out. Um... You know, we're actually doing all right. I don't know if you're talking to her or to us. <laughs> when you're fighting alongside your comrades, you can't just run away when things get hairy. No, you can't. That's why I make sure to back up my data regularly and repair any injuries right away. You don't want to lose your PhD thesis, guys. <laughs> so, someone tell those operators to just relax already. She's doing everything right, guys. Combat troops exist to fight. My comrades and I only want, want only to contribute to humanity's great victory. And I assume you feel the same? I guess so, if there are even any humans left. I'm getting suspicious that there aren't any. Do you have more to say aside from your one line? How is your mission progressing? <laughs> Ninus is just like ignoring everyone. He's just like, I'm going to listen to everyone and say nothing. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Hmm? Us? Uh, we're fine, I guess. Better than we were at the beginning, although we still have a ways to go. Lots of hard work ahead for sure. Yep, lots of story to go. Missions seem easier now, or maybe I'm just more used to them. I mean, I still get in the way sometimes, but I'm learning. Mission received loud and clear. I won't let you down. 
Okay, we're just getting a bunch of backstory stuff now. I don't know if this is worth it. And that concludes the mission briefing. I'll contact you later with further details. What? Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> Lately, she's been doing all her work perfectly. I'm actually starting to miss when she needed help. Oh. You guys always seem to be synced up. We're going to make sure we are too. So the operators help us on the ground as the Yorha soldiers. So basically, they provide all the information to us about what to do next. And I guess what she's saying is that her soldier is doing such a kick-ass job that maybe the operator doesn't even need to be around. I mean, I will always appreciate the operators, but I guess there's a there's a point to be made there. Right, Tubi's gonna say something as soon as we leave the room. <laughs> oh, there's a quest over there. Great. Oh, Tubi's glitching. If you need something done, ask someone else. Having to sit in a chair all day is tougher than it looks. What is Tubi doing? <laughs> Yeah, I'm exhausted. I get you, girl. I get you. I can't do desk work. Operator 6 oh, that's our person, right? Hey, welcome back. So, uh, can you show me the new data you brought? Oh, this is the data we gave to Pascal. Hmm. She's like, hmm, where is this data? Hmm. <laughs> uh, a bit suspicious you don't have it anymore. Machines trying to make peace? I never thought I'd see the day. It's an amazing thing to overcome different ideologies and interests and join hands in friendship. I agree. Still, I bet there are plenty of folks out there who aren't wild about the idea. It's difficult to forget what machines did to us and what we did to them. But I still think we should try our best to prevent any more tragedies. Yes. This, this operator knows where it's at. She knows that, that peace is the way forward, not war. This is the bunker. What's the status on that missing pod? You still haven't located it? Understood. She'll be giving off a distress signal, so continue searching until you find it. I think she's giving us a clue that we should be looking for parts of our scanner, but we already found them, I think. I think there's only three, unless I'm wrong. Jeez, I hope that poor little pot didn't get buried in the sand somewhere. Ah, oh, she's giving us a clue. Okay, well, we found that on the first playthrough. <laughs> uh, the reason why I say there's three is not because I actually know the answer to this. I just, um, when I was trying to find out about, because we had pod one and then pod number three which is one we found in the desert and that's how i knew that there must be a pod two and so i was trying to uh get clues about where that is because i didn't want to miss it um and somewhere someone said something about there being three pods so that's why i think there's three but i don't know it could just be three pods on this playthrough or i don't know but yeah she's giving us clues for stuff we already know basically is what she's saying your body can export stored experiences in the form of plug-in chips that means if you keep practicing something you're not good at, you'll eventually get better. Pretty sweet. No, well, I don't think that's how it works in this game. You have to get new plug-in chips. <laughs> Unless you mean leveling up. Have you tried creating plug-in chips? The chip system lets you create a high-powered chip from the data of several lesser ones. That's not creating chips, sweetheart. That is merging chips. <laughs> the maintenance shop at the res resistance camp can help you out if you haven't tried it yet. I don't know why she's saying creating chips. If we could create chips, I would do that because we'd be so overpowered, but apparently we can't do that. All right, there's a quest somewhere on this side, but let's keep talking to people. Unlike you, when we operators get new bodies, our memories aren't reset. Meaning, remember the things you no longer can. How does that work? How do your memories not get reset? I really should have raised my junk data, but organizing's never been my strong point. Just go to the recycle bin. Press, press delete. <laughs> Androids and machines making peace. I won't stand for it. What's wrong with you? I'll hate those miserable piles of bolts until my last breath. Well, that can be arranged. And if any of them still resent us, even if it's just a few, that's enough reason to keep fighting. Um, hmm, suspicious. Don't waste your time talking to me. Do what needs to be done. On behalf of all those we've lost. Well, I'm not going to waste my time talking to you because you're not worth my breath. Not that I think androids have breath, but... Info dump incoming. Did you know that you can change clothes at transport terminals? Wait, you did? Huh. So, I guess you don't mind taking off your clothes outside? <laughs> okay. Your outfits are so amazing. I mean, my uniform is fine and all, but I'd love to wear a cool helmet like they have. Um, we can just change things from the inventory. Here's a piece of friendly advice. We've always got spare body materials stored at transport materi terminals. 
the materials are distributed to the different camps in the bunker and replenished by the resistance. Then your personal data is transferred to a new body in a distant location, allowing you to travel there instantly. Okay, that's how the traveling system works. It's not that the body goes like underground and then travels over there and then comes up. It's that they have a bunch of bodies stored under the ground and they just like or upload you from the one and then download you to the next one. Okay. I dig. That's clever. Sometimes you may not be able to use a transport terminal if machine life forms are jamming it. If you take out the enemies, you can access the terminal and restore it, but it's a real pain in the butt. I imagine that that makes sense because if you're being uploaded to a body and the machines attack the body, then you're gone. So they can't afford to do that. So it makes sense. You got to um, get rid of the machines before you go and actually uh, use the terminal. Makes sense. Okay, Operator 210, you got a quest for us. Um, Operator, what are you doing? What am I doing? I'm analyzing data. Look at me. I deserve a raise. I'm sitting at my desk all day. So boring. Uh, is this part of your current assignment? No, it is merely a hobby. Oh, <laughs> doing a hobby at her, at her desk. Okay. Wait, really? The world contains a vast amount of data. Coordinates, network node re readings, photographic images, and so on. Analyzing this data can often lead to discovering new information. I spend my downtime seeking out such information. Well, that seems kind of boring. I mean, no offense. It is more interesting than engaging in mindless banter. Hey! <laughs> I have been running around doing a lot of that. Still, there might be a way to make this chatter less mindless. There is a data terminal in the abandoned factory that I cannot access without us without satellites. If you feel like helping, you can head over there and transfer the data to me. I <laughs> crumble about what a pain that would be. Yeah, let's do it. Wonderful. I'll send the coordinates at once. Okay, so we do still have some more side quests, but that's to be expected. The terminal is kind of hard to find, so keep your eyes peeled. I'll let you know once I find it. Data analysis freak updated. Please examine the abandoned factory to your earliest convenience. Right, well, that'll be pretty easy for us. We have... Basically nothing to do except talk to Pascal. The commander sure is a slave driver, huh? And now we have to go back to the city ruins. Yeah. Why don't we rest a little bit, Tupi? It's been a while. I'll rest if I feel like it. Yo, mean. The bee is mean. You know what? Oh, this isn't our bed. We can't do it here. But oh, this is a shop. Whoa. There are so many things in this game, it's so easy to forget that these things exist. But we don't need any of this. Like, at all. I'm gonna sell all the things we don't need. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, I just want the large recoveries because they're actually useful. Alright, Operator, what's up? Hmm, what are we gonna do? It still hasn't turned up? Uh, what's that? You want to know what's happening? Yes, I do. You're just talking mysteriously. Apparently, one of the units on Earth lost a pod in the flooded city. Okay, that's how you figure out where these things are. I had no clue how you're supposed to know to fish for that pod. They tried to follow the distress signal, but they still can't find the thing. How do you lose a pod? It staggers the imagination. It does, actually. Anyway, if you happen to find it, will you take care of it? The poor thing is all alone down there. Girl, I got it with me. Uh... And make sure not to lose it. Look! There it is! <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, let's chat to the other operator. Oh, it's just the same conversation. Okay. Let's go into my room. Seeing as Chibi does not want to rest, I'm going to take a break. <laughs> I don't know what this does, but I've not used it before. Do you want to save? Yes, I do. You want to continue the game? Yes, I do. So I don't know what that does aside from like probably heal you up to full. I love how like swords and stuff just appear on our backs. Right, nothing to buy. Let's have a look around the rest of this place. We'll come use these afterwards. I want to check for any other quests that could be going on. 5-0. 5-0's room. It's 5-0. Oh, hello! Have you tried out any any of the new products yet? They're pretty great, if I do say so myself. And I do! She's a salesperson, for sure. If our inventions help prevent even the smallest bit of damage, I'll be happy. Creating a new body costs a small fortune, you know. 
Okay, basically you're saying we gotta fund our own our own ability to exist. <laughs> Paying to live sounds a bit dodgy. Okay, operator 210 is not here. She's in the other room giving us quests. This is the terminal. I get very lost in this place, so forgive me for being like, where is everything? Oh, it's a shop, maintenance shop. Need some maintenance, maybe an enhancement or two, let me know. All right, let's do that upgrade pod. What are we missing? How are we supposed to get these things? I think you probably need to go to the forest. Looks like we have enough of everything else. Kind of. We have to decide which pods to upgrade. That's horrible. Are you just supposed to like run around collecting these things? I don't know. Maybe this is something you... you... I don't know. This is a very much a JRPG thing, like grinding for items. I don't want to do that. Seems like a lot of effort for very little pay. pay. Uh, what am I saying? <laughs> Seems like a lot of effort for very little payoff. That's what I'm trying to say. English is hard. Okay, I, I don't think we should fuse everything. If you ever feel dissatisfied with your body's performance, just swing on by. We'll have you right as rain in no time. Sure. I'm not dissatisfied, though. If anything, I'm dissatisfied with my body's performance because I make mistakes in this game. <laughs> 9S? No, 9S is doing a phenomenal job. I love 9S very much. 8B's room. Wait, I know you. You're the ones who received a peace offer from the machines. So what do you think? Can we trust them? We've been fighting those metalheads for so long, it doesn't feel right to suddenly take their word on anything. But I kind of trust them, I do. On the other hand, if this works, Earth would finally be at peace. If we reconciled with the machines, then Earth would finally be at peace. Yes, you're right. But it would be a fragile piece of best. So I don't think we'd ever be completely safe. Only if we can't get rid of like Adam and Eve, which I'm pretty sure we kind of have done by the end of the first playthrough. Still, if it means our troops can finally lay down their weapons, perhaps it's something we should consider. Uh... Yeah, I, I'm in agreement with Operator. <laughs> okay. Neither of them have anything unique to say. 7B's room. Who's 7B? Have we met her? Oh, she's napping. Okay. That's fine. No, you know what? Naps are good. Naps are good. And this is the hangar. We're obviously not going to use this, but last time we went there, there was a quest. So I think it's always worth checking out. I love the space station style, like the, the central ring and everything, that it gives probably like artificial gravity. It's pretty cool. All right, you're a soldier. You look very upset. What's going on? Yeah, I don't feel so good. Say, so, you're the one who got the peace offer from the machines, right? I don't get it. I mean, why now? If we make peace, does that mean I won't have to fly anymore? No, you know what? You might be able to get joy rides. <laughs> well, not as much as you do now, but at least. Yeah, that's true, I guess, but it's still flying. How many deaths could have been prevented if we just talked to the machine sooner? You know, that's the truth. I know it's pointless to think about that now, but I just can't shake it. Yeah, you know, she's making me think about that as well, because probably humans died in the wars as well, and we could have probably just had a conversation about it. <laughs> but this is always how good stories happen, right? Is through miscommunication. It's the only way stories can work. <laughs> Say, you're the ones who talk to the machines, right? This is all everyone's talking about. I've always said that the only good machine is a dead machine, and I stand by it. I won't ever trust a machine. Ever. That's harsh. They're the enemies of humanity. They killed our comrades. And now they're strutting around Earth like they own the joint. I bet they think we'll accept their terms just to put a stop to this never-ending war. I wonder where their boss is hiding. Well, this will all be over once you defeat the aliens. I wish they'd hurry up and show their slimy faces. They're dead. We have the upper hand at the moment. We should just destroy them and bring victory to mankind once and for all. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not feeling it. Can we actually use this to get down to Earth? No, we can't. Okay. So, I guess that means we've now explored the entire place. Um. I want to do something crazy. 
We tried to blow up the resistance camp, but nothing happened. Probably nothing's gonna happen here, but I wanna see what happens if we try and blow up the commander. <laughs> I wonder what Earth is like when the humans live there. Well, not that I know what it's like on Earth now, but you get what I mean. Why is it that everything is black and white here? It's a pretty cool artistic style, but why? You can get to the hangar from that elevator. Oh, you already knew that? Well, excuse me. Sorry, you're just kind of useless. It's not my fault. But this is 2B's room. Uh, <laughs> are we are we going to your room, 2B? I kind of feel weird about that. Um, okay, I want to. I I really want to see what happens if I try blowing up the commander. Probably nothing will happen, but oh, I missed you. Hello. Do you believe? I mean. Do you even know who this war is for at this point? Eh, never mind, I've said too much. It's a good question. Who are we fighting it for if there's no aliens? You don't have to watch me like that, you know? I'm not planning a rebellion or anything. Feel free to report me to command if you feel like it. They wouldn't listen even if you did. Uh, that's probably true. Um, but no, I don't think you're... I don't think you're planning a rebellion. I think the rebellion is probably going to happen naturally anyway. All right, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I want to see what happens. Um... Let me just save the game in case we end up dying. Um, I wanna, I really wanna see what happens if we try and blow up the commander because she has been annoying this whole time. How's your mission progressing? This is how it's progressing. <laughs> oh, whoa, I did not expect something to actually like seriously happen. By self-destructing at the bank, at the bunker, the entire structure ended up exploding in a spectacular fashion, but hey, it sure did look pretty from Earth. Wow. Somewhere in the depths of space, the commander still floats about with a stern look on her face. Wow. I love that they actually expected someone to do that. I can't believe my crazy results in a real, real outcome. That's hilarious. Look at that. Debunked with a U. Okay, is that ending U? Because I think there's a letter for every ending. Oh, wow. Ladies and gentlemen, that was... All right. Well, I guess we're done with the Automata. Bye for now. <laughs> uh, no, I'm just kidding. Okay, um, let's get back into... <laughs> Is that ending you? Wow. That's hilarious. I did not think such a thing was possible. But I guess it is. <laughs> So now this makes me curious if there's an ending for every letter in the alphabet. We got like 26 to hunt down. Sometimes, huh? We don't get to choose our assignments, and you should work on keeping your opinions in check. Yo! You aren't allowed to be emotional, remember? I think some of us are better at that than others. Speaking of emotion, those Adam and Eve units sure seemed less than logical. I'm mm. heading to the transporter. Fine. Wow, to be. I used to really like you, girl, but I think you've got a heart of stone. You know, maybe it is just that when you're playing as her, you don't feel as mean. You just feel like you're, I don't know, misled, misguided. But when you're watching it from the outside, it's just like, wow, to be you're harsh. <laughs> you're really harsh. Okay, let's check our inbox. We do have mail. Jackass, fish. Hey, sorry to bring this up out of the blue, but I got a fish I want to recommend to your her units. Uh, or be... Or to be more specific, I want you to eat it so I can study how its oil affects a Yoha unit. You know, for science. Anywho, stop by if you get bored. It's my treat. Sounds good. All right, let's... First off, we got... Uh... Okay, let's go to the resistance camp first. It's always a good place to land. And then we can figure out our plan from there where exactly we're going to go. We got um, two quests now. We got Jackass's fish quest. We got the abandoned factory quest. And we're not doing the trial of sand because you need to be a ridiculously high level for that. So probably on our third playthrough, we'll do that. Um, so we're just going to knock these two out of the way and then we can head to Pascal and get moving on with the main quest. It's, it's obvious to me now that I think about it that there would be quests up at the bunker, but at least now I know that this is a thing. All right, let's have a look at our map. So that over there is the data analysis freak. We need to go sort that out. And uh, where be jackass? That's the trial of sand. Mysterious letter. Photographs. 
Uh, where's Jackass? That's the main quest. We don't want to go there. What? Where is Jackass? I'm very confused. All right, let's have a look at the quests. Uh, oh, you know what? I think we did this on a previous playthrough. It's going to say something. I'm just looking for something to do. with Jackass. I'm looking for the right name for a quest. Sorry that I'm so quiet. Um, what would it be called? Is it a... F is it a failed quest, perhaps? No. So Jackass is in the desert, if I remember correctly, so we'd have to go there. Let's, uh... Let's just triple check that there's no one here with anything new to say to us. Uh, whoa. This is the lightning fire speaker. Um. Okay, let's. Let's head to the factory then. Um, and we'll run into Jackass in the desert, I guess. Factory should be right at the bottom. There we go. So I guess we'll, we'll, we'll run into Jackass in the desert then? I don't know. I could have sworn that I know we've seen that that email before from her but I I assume it would be listed as a quest but I guess it's not so we just got to find her now um there's a few places she could be she's probably at the entrance to the desert that's usually where she is she could also be uh where we found her in the amnesia quest which is <laughs> quite a journey but regardless, let's get into the de into the factory and try and activate this missing um, transporter. So I don't know if it's underground or what, but we will find our way there. Okay, we're back here again for like the fourth time now. <laughs> I'm expecting enemies to drop from the ceiling, but nothing. And that door is going to be locked because that's for the main quest. Now, which which one do I want? I want the laser because it just sounds fun. Yeah, look at it. The laser is just so much more fun than the, the gun. <laughs> It also points immediately where you're aiming, which makes a big difference, you know. Oh, there's no one along here. I thought there might be someone. <laughs> Guess not, but they're going to come out of here. They always do. Dealing with them quite easily. Oops, let's let's pick up all of the thingamajigs they dropped. <coughs> Not that I ever end up using any of it, but always worth it for the experience. This whole place is like a giant machine's nest. I wonder what it used to be like. Accessing historical records. Analysis. This location was once used for weapons production and experimentation. No kidding. What kind of weapons? I mean, we kind of know that. Common example is the P-22 and P-33 models. Human-shaped weapons, huh? Wonder if they work like flight units. Unknown. No image-based information exists. Honestly, the laser is so cool. Every time I use it, I get so happy. I'm noticing that there are a bunch of chests around. Um, 
but we can come back that route later. I think let's let's go to the route that is usually locked. I think I can access the data over there. The reason I want to go this route is because it's usually locked. So I want to open it from this side so I don't have to open it. Um, so I don't have to run <coughs> my voice. So I don't have to run all the way back the other way. Because that's what would normally happen if I went the other route. I'd have to run all the way back. Whereas this time, this way around, I can just go one way. Okay, what is this? Is this the data we need? Oh, it is. There we go. That's what 210 wanted. Now that was too easy. To send it to her. Alert. Poor reception in this area <laughs> is preventing data. We have to get output. out of here. Proposal. Unit 9S should move to an area with better reception. Got it. This makes... This reminds you of like 10, 20 years ago when cell phone reception was awful. Hacking is too easy now. Cure all plus heal? What? Why didn't we have that before? Seems like something we should have had. Is that a chip or is that an item? It's an item. Okay, so that's for when you're really in trouble, basically. So where is it you want me to head again? You want me to... I assume you want me to get out there. I mean, I'm standing outside. Why can't you do things from here? Is the reception that bad? Woo, we got a lot of guys here. What? Dodge all these bullets. Wow. Supposed to normally navigate this, it feels like you can't get through it without getting injured. Jeez, that was hectic. That was intense. That was so intense. Now, before I came in here, I did see a marker for some chests, but it seems like it's saying they're outside. So let's head out and grab them. We're gonna check the site first. Whoa! Oh, that was a bit easy. It's amazing, like, how everything starts off so hard with these guys, but then becomes so much more manageable. I just prefer the laser over the gun so much, ladies and gentlemen. Like, I don't understand why you'd use anything else. Okay, here's the chest that we couldn't open, or that we didn't open from the looks of it. I mean, it's just got a small recovery, so it's not even that useful. But I still, I like to come through and just clear things out because then you know you've done it. And you know, like, that's it. You've found the things that you need. That guy at the top of the stairs is gonna <laughs> be left out. Poor guy. Make it easy on him and catch myself. All right, take the shortcut. And this shortcut as well, which we have taken before. And I don't think we can jump off the end there. Okay, we're back at the, the entrance, the very start of the game. You know why we didn't collect all these items? I've just realized it's because when we came here on um, on the Route B, we didn't actually explore the abandoned factory because we were flying around doing our own thing while 
2B was running around doing these things. So I wonder if the game just remembered what I collected the first time in Route A and then just reproduced that, because I clearly opened the chest um, all the way back there, but not the others. Although for some reason, didn't destroy this, although I should have. <laughs> At least as 2B, if I was gonna actually have made any progress through this part of the, the game. <laughs> See, look at the laser. It's just so good. And the best bit about it is unlike the gun, which loses some amount of accuracy when you're using auto target, it doesn't seem to do that for the laser. It seems to still do exactly the same amount of damage. We missed something. This is what's great about having a mini-map, is you can make sure you don't miss anything. I used to miss, like, all kinds of pickups before that. Yeah, take that! <laughs> okay, uh, there is something here. This? dead android i love how we literally just assimilate dead androids it's kind of creepy <laughs> just absorb them and like absorb their essence into our being it's really weird when you actually think about it there is a chest and i've missed it oh i see it uh i see it let's go grab it i would not have found that otherwise right over there i would not have found that but let's go grab it. There we go. Now, what's in here? Someone good? 3000G, it's all right. I love how fast you can move in this game. It's very satisfying. <laughs> Even the camera can't keep up at times. All right, let's speed run out of the factory because apparently there is no reception here. I don't understand the logic. But apparently it's a it's a logic. And the game is trying to follow it. <laughs> Into this door, out through the other one. Now what we haven't done yet is go across this far side here. And there does seem to be a chest according to the map. This should be good enough. Pod, upload that data to operator 210. Affirmative. How how is the signal here? Operator 210 to 9S. Come in. This is 9S. Tell me what you need. The data you sent. It's fascinating. It appears to be the journal of a human who once worked in the factory. Oh! Well, like a diary? Yes. According to this, the man worked long hours on an almost daily basis. He says, and I quote, They are working me like a machine. Working like a machine to build a machine? Humans truly were strange creatures. Sounds like it. I'll send you a reward later. Wait, I can get rewarded for doing this? I didn't <laughs> say you would not get a reward. No, but... <laughs> hey, don't disconnect me. <laughs> Report. That's hilarious. Mail notification received from access point. Oh, man. I love Ninus. Can he be real? I just want to hang out with him all day long. He Literally, everything he says makes my day. I also love, I love the relationship he has with his operator. It's classic. All right, there's a body here and there's a chest to hack. You gotta get all the hackable chests, you know? Oh, that was close. He like literally came right up to us. Factory cafeteria sign, what? No, it's under Intel. Factory cafeteria sign. August menu. Monday, croquettes. Croquettes. I don't know how to say that. Tuesday, French fry surprise. Wednesday, meatless meat and potato stew. Thursday, buttered potatoes. Friday, potato curry. Saturday, potato salad. Sunday, potato gratin. <laughs> uh, everything is just like potatoes. 
All meals must be consumed in full. Employees who do not consume their meals will have their workload increased by 30%. You don't like... I mean, you can't just eat potatoes. And then if people don't eat the food, make them work harder. That's just going to kill them. What? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> but you know what? No one ever said it had to make sense. Well... Let's, let's climb up the other way around so I don't fall down unnecessarily. There are going to be robots here as well. I knew it. Too easy. Way too easy. Now that door is locked as well. I can't remember what exactly is behind it. I know it's got to be for one of the main quests. I've just forgotten how it's relevant. Whoa, hello. Machine body. Destroy him while you can. You always get stuff out of it. All right, you've come full circle. Just one more chest to go. And it's just a thousand G. Not a big deal, but still better than nothing. I love how when I started this game, I was so confused about the layout of these kinds of places, but now I just kind of know it so well that I don't get lost or confused. I just know the abandoned factory inside out. That's really weird. <laughs> I should not know an abandoned factory inside out. And yet I can't even navigate the bunker. My priorities are not sorted. <laughs> All right, we're outside. Uh, let's just grab this while we're on the way. Ah! You're lying to me. You're making me think that there's something I want and then you're just telling me I can't pick it up. It's also bizarre to me how there's like a capacity limit to these things. There shouldn't be. Not if if you need so much of it for like crafting and things like that. All right, I'm heading, I'm heading to the transport point because I want to read the message before we call it quits for today. So the message says, let's see, it says... Operator 2 and a reward. Tech manual times 3, medium recovery times 2, 3000 G, 1150 experience. I've sent the reward I mentioned earlier, Operator 210. I love Operator 210. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that quest is completed. And we'll call it quits there for today. This was supposed to be a main quest episode. It kind of was. We, uh, we learned some more stuff about the androids in the bunker, um, but we did get a quest to come and do something down here. Uh, next time on the Automata, we're either going to try and track down Jackass, or if uh, if that's not successful, we're going to go straight ahead with the main quest and hop in to Sordna Pascal's stuff, who's going to send us to the Forest Kingdom, where we can finally now go and explore a place we haven't been to in episodes, weeks, it's probably months actually now. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for that. I'll see you guys next time on the Automata. Until then, bye for now and stay safe.